Funding and support for this project has been provided by the State of Washington Department of Labor and Industries Safety and Health Investment Projects. On behalf of the Washington Wine Industry Foundation and Labor and Industries, we would like to welcome you to Safety for Small and Medium-Sized Wineries, a Labor and Industries SHIP grant project. It is our goal to introduce you to some of the regulatory requirements to keep you and your employees safe within your winery. We hope you enjoy. Welcome to our video on safety committees and safety meetings. We want you to get the most out of these training videos. Just sit back and listen to the presentation as all of this information is available to you at winerywise.org under Winery Safety. During this presentation, we hope you learn how to communicate and evaluate safety issues within your winery. We hope you enjoy. Okay, I'd like to welcome you to our uh, inaugural monthly safety meeting. The goal for these meetings is to have a person from each uh, department within the facility, and that's why all of you are here. I thank you very much for participating. We plan to meet uh, once a month on the second Thursday at 2 o'clock, and I will make sure I send out meeting announcements before then, so if you could try to make sure you make those meetings, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, before we get started, I would like to introduce to you Judy Thote. She's our winery owner, for those of you who don't know her, and she's going to talk briefly on the importance of safety within our winery. I wanted to thank everybody for coming here today to our first safety meeting. I know it's going to be you know, a little bit of extra work on each of your parts to get this going, but I want you to know that as the owner of this winery that I really, really back the safety program that Shayla's come here to help us with. And I appreciate that we've got representatives from the cellar, from the lab, from maintenance, and also from the tasting room here. And really, we want this, these meetings to be open. These are, these are meetings for your benefit so that you can come here every day, work in a healthy, safe environment, and go home safely. So thanks for your participation. And I believe, Shayla, one of the uh, things you had asked us to do was to have an attendance roster yes, for this please. meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to pass it out. And by the way, everything that Shayla's going to talk about, we are going to keep it in a winery accident prevention plan binder. And it's going to be in my office. And Shayla, didn't you suggest we keep one in the lab as well? Yep, that would okay. be great. That's yeah. for everyone to access. So that everyone can access it. And everything we're going to talk about throughout the year is going to be kept right here in this binder. So, Shayla? Great. So, Judy's going to start with the um, sign-in sheet, so if everyone could please print their name and sign. That way we have record of who is at these meetings every month. So we'll get that going around, and then um, while she's doing that, I'm also going to hand out kind of an overview of the agenda for the meeting today, so we can all stay on track and keep on focus. And all of these documents are not only going to be kept within our accident prevention plan, but I'm also going to type up the meeting minutes and post them where all of our other safety uh, related posters and information are found within the winery. So the purpose of these safety committee meetings is to discuss observations that you have made within your respective areas um, that could potentially result in an unsafe situation or be an unsafe situation. So before the meetings, if you could please take a look around your area and ask your fellow employees if they see anything that's unsafe and then you can bring that information to these meetings. If you find something and you feel that it's urgent, please don't wait for the safety committee meetings. Please bring them to my attention immediately so we can get them corrected as fast as we can. The other thing we're going to talk about in these meetings is um, winery incidences and accidents that have happened. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, every month, we're going to track those items to closure. So the items that you bring to the safety committee uh, attention, we are going to note those and, and make sure that we get those closed so that you can follow up with your fellow coworkers and know that we are taking action and getting these items corrected. Thank you very much. So we're going to take a copy of this and get this filed right in our accident prevention plan. Okay. The other thing we're going to do within these meetings is we're going to talk about a safety topic of the month. And the purpose of these safety topics of the month is to bring up our general awareness of a particular topic that, it, that it really does apply to each one of your areas. So I'm going to go ahead and hand out what we're going to be talking about this month, which is going to be winery housekeeping. Okay, so 
I'm, we're going to be talking about um, some different things within your respective areas that apply. Um, please, when we get done discussing this, go back, discuss these items with your fellow coworkers, and also take a look and make sure that um, you know you you uh, take a look and make sure that all of these items are being addressed within your within your respective areas. Okay, so following with the agenda. We're now going to discuss the um, safety topic of the month, and I actually gave away my copy, so if I could borrow your copy, we'll share. Perfect. Okay, so for this month, uh, being that it's a new year, I thought it would be good to talk about winery housekeeping. Okay, so now I'm going to review some um, incidents that happened in December since our last meeting. You may or may not be aware of, since, since you're all new to the safety committee. Um, but these are very important to, to bring up and make sure that uh, everyone is aware. Um, the first one was we had a near miss with a forklift going around a blind corner with a guest service employee. Um, oftentimes, you know, it was busy with harvest and they're trying to do their work with get, retrieving wine from the cellar for the tasting room and they just didn't see each other and there was almost a collision. So. <laughs> It was suggested that perhaps that would be a good location to add maybe a mirror and do some, some additional general awareness training of um, forklifts within the winery. So we went ahead and did that with, with the cellar operators and with the guest service employees. And Chandler, I'm just curious, do you think that the uh, forklift driver needs any additional training or was it simply a matter of they couldn't see around? I think it was a matter of not being able to see okay. and um, just not being aware, the, the guest service employee not being aware of okay. the hazards okay. in the cellar. The second um, incident that came up is that we had a smashed finger while employee was turning a barrel. Ouch! Yes, very painful. It, luckily there was no um, damage but heavy bruising. So uh, for that, we just want to make sure everyone wears protective gloves always mm -hmm. when dealing with barrels. Mm -hmm. And um, we're looking into getting a device that um, can assist with rolling of the barrels. Now I should take a moment to mention that when you're bringing up topics from your respective areas um, to suggest or that could be potential uh, safety um, items to look at, it's important to consider that some of you, the items are easy to correct right away and some of the items may require capital and or planning. So don't get frustrated when things are don't get fixed right away. Sometimes things require um, additional dollars that weren't necessarily budgeted. And although it is safety, sometimes things do take a little bit of time. But we will continue to update you on those items in this meeting so that um, you are aware that we are continuing to move forward and we haven't forgot about your concerns. Mm -hmm. So, good. So, um, do any of you have any items around your respective areas that you have observed that could possibly result in an unsafe working condition? Uh, Shayla, uh, I'm from the lab and I've noticed that we have two issues down there. Uh, one is we don't have any eyewash around the sink. And the second issue is in the storage cabinet, we're storing acids and bases together without secondary containers. Okay, so great, thank you. We should you. probably work on that. Excellent, great observations. Great. And I'm with the tasting room, and we've noticed the entrance and walkways are really slippery this time of the year, so we would like some salt to put down first thing in the morning to prevent the guests from slipping. Okay, great. And then we had one more item come through uh, from fellow coworkers suggested getting some rugs or ergonomic mats to stand on since they stand on the uh, cement all day long to help with their shift. Okay, great. It's a good idea. Yes, okay. Okay. standing on concrete, yes. Yes, that makes for the entire sense. shift, so. Okay. I wonder if we even want to look at some stretching. Sometimes that can help too. Oh, that's a yes, good idea. For, yeah, for yeah. standing, for standing for long periods of time. So maybe you could look into that for the group, Shayla, too. Definitely. Okay. Thanks. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. In the cellar, I've noticed that the lights burned out and should be replaced. Okay. Kind of an easy one, but mm -hmm. it is noticeable. Mm -hmm. And uh, the backup light, uh, the backup horn on the forklift isn't working. Ooh. Oh, okay. great. Okay. Let's get we'll that fixed yeah. right away. Make yeah. sure we get that. Um, call the forklift dealer and get that fixed right away. Okay, super. In the office, um, this is an easy one to fix, but uh, there are boxes blocking the back hallway that leads to the emergency exit. So oh. we probably need to recycle or find some other place to put them. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
if you need help with that, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. And for maintenance, we found some aerosol cans of paint and bug spray, but we don't have a flammable materials cabinet to store them. Oh, good oh, catch. Okay. Okay. okay, great. Do you know the cost of those cabinets, Shayla? You know, they range depending on the size. You can okay. get um, smaller cabinets that are uh, less than 200 up to larger cabinets that can be upwards of 1,000. So okay. we'll have to look at the size of um, cabinet that they would need based on the amount of aerosols that they mm -hmm. have, and we'll try to be diligent and get the cheapest one that we can. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, thank you. Great, thanks everyone. So that's, well, thank you for participating in, the, in your first uh, annual safety committee meeting, and I appreciate your time. And I will get all of these meeting minutes uh, typed up and posted as soon as I can. Thank you great. everyone. Appreciate thanks everybody, it. appreciate it. Thank thanks. You. We hope you've increased your safety knowledge from this video, and that you'll take this information back to your winery to help make it the safest place that it can possibly be. While every effort was made to ensure the accuracy of the information presented here, it is nonetheless the responsibility of each winery owner to ensure that their safety protocols and safety training are consistent with their own winery operations. Thank you for your time.